This is Richard Lynch. You're watching ilovelimerick.com and we have come to Carey's Road, Limerick to visit Friends of the Elderly. Let's go inside and see what's happening. Limerick, you are my lady. Do you love Limerick? Of course I love Limerick. What you love most about Limerick? I like the people, I like the city, I like the place, and I like the crack because we have a great time in Limerick. And I give I wouldn't give Limerick for America, for Rome, for Lowe's, wherever I went. Limerick is the best place. Limerick till you Limerick, die. you're a lady. But we do support each other in Limerick, don't we? Of course we? we do, yes. We help each other. And going back years ago we helped them more. People helped each other in houses and families. The brought things into the people that wasn't too well off. Tell me, do you think that being an elderly person, do you think that the youth of Limerick treat you with respect? Well, a lot of them do. Maybe some don't, like you know, but uh, I'd say a lot of them do, but I'd say it is the want of understanding. And of course, it is the living today and the life. It's fast. <laughs> Years ago, a person managed to stand up and leave a woman sit down. Because, you know, people don't realise the elderly don't have texting, they don't have internet, they don't have phones. So the only really way they can communicate is coming to places like this. Places like this. Because when you come down here, some people, like, we know each other, we all nearly know each other. And we sit down and talk about the old times and talk about going Terry Lynch's years ago. My dad's pub. Your dad's pub. And, and, and Flurry and the organ, and we had a great time. I think as you're talking about people living alone, there's an awful lot of people living alone that has this club and have nothing else, and that's wonderful for them. Because a lot of elderly people, they don't have anybody, right? That's right, that's right. Some, some haven't even their family. Nobody, they wake up, they're alone they all do. week that's, long. That's Nobody's how I'm there. so lucky. Yeah. I have my son and my daughter and my three grandchildren alongside me. Yeah. Scatter pictures of the smiles you left behind. Smiles we gave to one another for the way we were. Tell me your situation, right? You explained to me that your husband has passed, your, all, your three of your brothers passed away, so you came back to Friends of the Elderly. I think myself, it's great. There now of Thursday, I'd get up and have my shower and I'd get my hair done that I wouldn't be, you know, staying in and crying and moaning. And um, I think it's great. <laughs> I do, yeah. Especially, as I said, since John passed, which I find it very hard to keep on in life, to be honest with you. So this is bringing you something that's really important, isn't it? It is, yeah. Because they're very good here. Very good. So when you're feeling sad, f yeah. coming here really helps yeah. you. It does, yeah, it does. All together now, think about day, like a walk in the park. I'd say, if you have a grandmother or a mother, look after them, because I'll tell you, the old people are very special, and when they go, that's that. It's respect age, because they'll all get old sometime, won't they? It is one thing you can't say no. Absolutely, they will get it. all have to go through. What does Friends of the Elderly mean to you? Well, it means life, getting out at night, and having a good time. And I think they're a fabulous club. I think they're the best in Limerick. It's changed your life? Completely. And what about you, Brida? Oh, I think it's wonderful. I think it's the best thing ever happened to any of us. And it's brought, brilliant for people of our age. We can go out some nights to the pub and have a good time, but if people here has nothing with this club, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful community and wonderful people looking after us. I think it's, it's changed our lives because we think we're teenagers again. If you ever go down by the docks at night, be sure you cross your heart, you're tied up tight. <laughs> Your 
What type of things would you do? You play bingo, you go on trips. What type of things do you like? What do you think? We like everything. We go trips down the river, down the boat. <laughs> it means a lot to me. Every Thursday night, I look forward to coming up. And we have our days out, which is beautiful in the summer. We went to the ballroom dancing out in Killaloo. And we were like 16 again. I made more friends, a lot of more friends. Not that I always had good friends. And I love to go out and enjoy myself, sing and dance. How do they treat you, friends of the elderly, Trevor, or the lads? Brilliant, brilliant. I think for kids of their age, they're wonderful people. They, they put us in front of themselves all the time. And even, no matter, even if the club isn't down, you want to go anywhere, they're there for you. And they phone you up now and again to know how you are. I think they're wonderful people. And I hope there's someone like them around for them when, when they get to our age. If you wanted to say something to the people watching about Friends of the Elderly, what would it be to sum up Friends of the Elderly? Get up and get out and get your hair done and come and join. <laughs> Fabulous. It's changing your life, isn't it? Oh, it did, of course. Made me younger anyway, kept me going. I cry now if I hear a song about my husband and it brings back memories. You do. So how long has he gone now? Nine years. Nine years. Yeah. And you still miss him every day? Of course I do. Yeah. I miss him in the bed at least. <gasps> I, when I go, when I go up to my bedroom and close the door, now I have a hot water bottle to keep me company, which won't dance for me back. <laughs> no, it won't. She's <laughs> <laughs> you're a hound. I'm here with the volunteers of Friends of the Elderly. We are with... Yeah, I'm chairperson. My name is Liz Cremens. I'm Denise Maloney. I'm the secretary of the club. I'm Trevor Birmingham and the treasurer. I'm Christy Cosgrove and I'm in the PRO. I'm involved with the Friends of the Elderly about 19 years. It started at a corner pub down at the corner of Hyde Road, Carey's Road. So we try to keep it in the area. So when that pub closed down, we went around to where Paddy Ryan owned the pub. And then when Paddy left we went to another club belonged to St. St. Saviour's Parish and then we've got this place. I have to say this now without Jeppe Young Manus we wouldn't have this building no. at all. No. He just kindly wrote us a cheque for 150,000 euros. He's not a politician, he's not a councillor or a doctor or anything, he doesn't do it for praise. We love you JP McManus, we love you. We love you JP, a round of applause for JP McManus. We love you. We go visiting from door to door look after the people in the area around us, like, you know. We deliver food, knock on their doors, are they all right? Someone has to do it. So we chose to do it. We have a group and we visit St. Camilla's uh, the second Sunday of every month. We go on Halloween, we have a big Christmas party coming up. And we decided to do this maybe 16, 17 years ago because there was no one visiting people who was in St. Camilla's that didn't have anybody. So. We decided to take up the gauntlet and do this, and we've been doing that since. And do you see stories, Denise, that would really make you sad in relation to the elderly? I do. Trevor now often calls to a few people, and I've gone up to give her a lift, and I won't say who, but it's very sad. They've no one going in and out to them. They can't even get from one room to the other. They're waiting for Trevor or me to come up. Do you know what to bring them? I mean, you know, no one should be living like that, do you know what I mean? It's only an hour or two out of your day. And if everyone helped, there'd be none of it. So anyone that would come on board, even volunteers, it would be brilliant. But just knock at the door and just say, hi, Mary, John, Joe, whoever. I'm Trevor, I live around the corner, here's my number if you need anything. Because a lot of people might even have milk if they can't get out. They might not have anything at all. We're a voluntary organisation, we're a non-profit making organisation. Nobody gets paid, we're all volunteers. We have to pay for insurance, ESB, gas. The running costs day to day, like any house, has to be paid for here. We need to have security cameras up and have a new roof put on the building. And we're in the process of fundraising for a minibus for our elderly. A minibus is 40,000. So we're having fundraising events coming up and we will do in the future. But our next main target is a minibus. And after that, we're working week to week. And we're going to have a minibus. We're not funding for a minibus, we're going to get a minibus. It's just the time. But we have literally no funding 
whatsoever of anybody. So it's just generosity of the beautiful living people who do look after us. We can get a minibus, we can get twice as much people into our community hall as we're getting now. But transport is the main issue. Yes. Because if we're having anything, they say it's too damp, it's too cold to come down. If we had two things, two, uh, two nights in a row, they can't afford the cab up and down. It's for doctors, um, chiropodist appointments, post office, anything. We can take them to supermarkets, which would be very important to save their money. We can take them anywhere if we get this. Try and fund the minibus. I know it'll need money for maintenance, petrol and that, but we'll get by with that. But the minibus is the main problem. What we do need is someone to come along and give us a little bit more money because we haven't got very much. And I mean to say, with the, everything that's happening, the recession that's coming now, but if you know anyone out there that has a few bob, you can... <laughs> Who do I know that has a couple of bob? I'm welcoming everybody up here to the club in Kerry's Road. Call up, see us, meet our elderly. If you're an elderly person yourself watching this, or if your grandkids are showing you this, call up. You're more than welcome here. Our biggest priority right now is to get Friends of the Elderly a minibus. So if you're out there, get your hands in your pockets. You can find Friends of the Elderly Limerick on Facebook.com. It's located on Carey's Road. You have no excuse. Get your cash book out, kids. You're watching I Love Limerick.com. See you soon.